So I'm here to interview Will Street, who's a former member of the British sailing team and a parasailer for the UK. When were you first diagnosed with your disability and how does this affect you? First diagnosed when I was 13 and it's a degenerative disorder called Regis ataxia, which affects my nerves and muscle control and things furthest away from my brain are more affected so my feet are worse than my speech or tongue which is quite bad. What inspired you to get into sailing from a young age? I've always been down the sailing club since I was like born because my parents have been sailors so it was just an everyday thing we'd go down there at the weekends spend virtually my whole life down on the beach. So I continued sailing in that able-bodied boat until I was about 16. And then I had a few years off when I was in denial. I had a back operation when I was 18. The one requirement of having the operation was that I use a wheelchair for recovery. So I still didn't want to get in it, so I just wanted to put off the operation. But then my mate started showing me that it was quite fun doing wheelies and stuff, so I, I didn't want to miss out on that. I went down to Weymouth and met the British sailing team, so it all kicked off from there really. While sailing and training, did you have to change any aspects of your sailing to suit your disability? Alright, so when I was younger, I would tell the everybody boat, it's like you have to sit on the side of the boat, pull all the ropes in, hike out, so leaning off your core, and I can't do any of that. So when I moved over to the Paralympic boat, the 2.4 metre rule, where you're sitting inside the boat, so you can't fall out. Um, all the ropes are in front of you on a dashboard. The tiller is right in front of you. So it made it much easier for me to be able to sail and my coordination was still the issue which has got slightly worse so I've been gradually changing the bits like adding on the, the jib boom on my boat which just makes it a lot easier for me to be able to coordinate so then I moved on to a two person boat to help me even more sailing with my friend Johnny where you have two people on the boat so I do the steering while Johnny can pull all the sails in for me and that helped my coordination so much more. I felt like I was actually racing. And so the boat that me and Johnny were going to sail to win the World Championships was a class called an RS Venture. So the World Championships were in Lake Michigan in the USA and we won the gold medal and then the year after we won the bronze medal at the World Championships in Cadiz, Spain. Hey, Will, what's your most memorable moment from sailing and your sailing career? So I've got so many great memories in so many places around the world, sailing in Australia, Spain, Canada, in Ireland, Germany, Holland, but my favourite memory has to be meeting all the inspirational people that have helped me along the way. Like my friend Bjorna, who's maybe more disabled than me. But his mentality and how he lives life and succeeds at whatever he does. What have you got um, planned for the future in terms of sailing? Um, we've still got at least one world a year. Also, I tried to raise some funds for my charity, Taxi UK. But I've got an idea to do it with my friends and with the BTs and stuff at my local gym. We want to ride all the way around the Isomet in the Netherlands. It's 240 kilometres. So I won't be able to do that in one day. I really want to try and achieve that. And I think that we really get to raise some money for the charity. Thank you so much.
so much for letting me interview you. I really appreciate it. I enjoyed it.